For those of you who don't know, I'm Maggie, and today we have one heck of a product empties video. It's been months since I've done this, and so my little box that I keep all these products in is overflowing. We are to the point of no return, so it was time to sit down and film one of these, and I just love these videos because I feel like, and I've mentioned this a bajillion times before, I just have so many thoughts about them because I've used them all up, and I really like spent time with the product. So I have a fair amount here of things that I would definitely repurchase, a couple that I was kind of like, eh, on, so let's dive right in. Starting with one of my favorite products ever. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. Now, this one has been my favorite for a really long time, but it is kind of expensive. And so I ended up buying this jumbo bottle and I think just a regular full-size bottle for like $30 one time because Living Proof oftentimes does an annual sale that allows you to basically buy two for the price of one. So I typically try to take advantage of that. I know that they did it last year for sure. That's when I got this. I don't know if it's a recurring thing, but I've really been meaning to try their like advanced clean is what I think it's called. It comes in a light blue or maybe a light gray dry shampoo bottle. I'll stick a picture of it up on the screen because I've heard great things about that, but I really like the scent of this. And while it does definitely leave kind of a white cast in your hair, it's so easy to work it out to where it doesn't look like you just sprayed a bunch of dry shampoo. I feel like it soaks up the oil so well. It's just a very, very effective dry shampoo that smells really good to me. I ended up purchasing one of those Amica blow dry brushes and I ended up getting it in this kit that came with this great like blow dry spray. We'll actually talk about it in a minute and a full size of their dry shampoo. So I'm on that now and I also really like that one but I find this nozzle way easier to control than the Amica nozzle, just FYI, if packaging concerns are something that you care about because I think that they truly can make or break a product. So really like this one, sad to be out of it, but I do like the Amica formula for sure. Another tried and true favorite, this is the Paula's Choice Oil Reducing Cleanser. I think this is the original one that I tried when I was in like seventh grade. My mom got really into Paula's Choice products around that time. I've just used it ever since. And their cleansers, I've said this again, I feel like I'm a broken record in these videos sometimes, but they truly are the best cleansers on the market. I feel like they do such a good job of making your face feel really clean, removing your makeup, and they're very non-harsh. Like they don't have any scents to them. There's no artificial colors. It's just like a white cleanser that's no frills. And it's frothy, but not too frothy. Now this one specifically is kind of like a creamy cleanser, but they make a bunch of different kinds. I don't have it here, but they make one that's like a gel to cream consistency if you prefer that. There's something out there for everyone. And they usually tell you what type of skin their products are good for. So this is part of their skin balancing line, which is typically for people with oily combination skin. I'm definitely somebody with combo skin, I would say. In the summer months, it leans a little bit more oily. So this is definitely my go-to when things are hotter and I'm definitely a little greasier by the end of the day. And it really does a good job of kind of helping prevent excess oil buildup and breakouts and things like that. This is their monster bottle that I typically order off of the Paula's Choice website. Now Paula's Choice is a verified seller on Amazon. So if you received an Amazon gift card and you were wanting to try out their cleansers, you can get them there but I've also said this a million times and it's that you get way more bang for your buck by shopping through the Paula's Choice website. In fact, I found that to be true for a lot of brands lately because I feel like they've lowered their shipping minimums. So you get free shipping over $30. And I feel like in the cosmetics world, a lot of things cost more than $30. So you can typically get free shipping on anything that you purchase. And it's really easy to find discounts at individual retailers than it is at a place like Sephora or Ulta. So I typically like to go directly through the Paula's Choice website for the best deal. They run 20% off the whole site, 20% off cleansers, moisturizers, whatever, all the time. So just wait for a deal. Don't ever buy this full price. Sticking with skincare, I also ran out of this Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream Moisturizer. Love the packaging on this thing. You have this one container and when you press down, that is what actually like made the product come up and it was perfectly portioned out so that you didn't overuse the product. Like one pump was plenty for your whole face. So I feel like this lasted me a pretty decent amount of time. Definitely three to four-ish months. But this was a very simple moisturizer, which was fine, but also a little questionable given the price of this because Drunk Elephant 
products are very, very expensive. Some people have really good luck with them, other people don't. But I think that's honestly something that can be said for all skincare lines. So I'm not gonna hold it against Drug Elephant. I just don't feel like this transformed my skin in the way that people described it to me on YouTube. Do you know what I mean? Like this is definitely not something that I feel like I need to repurchase. Unlike the baby facial, that was actually packaged with this in a gift set. And that's the only reason I got it is because I got a super steep discount around the holidays by buying both together. Now, I think that the baby facial makes a noticeable difference in the softness and clearness of my skin. And so that is one that I'm like, okay, I get the hype. But for a basic moisturizer, I don't think that you need to spend the money on this. I won't be repurchasing myself. I actually have a couple more recommendations for you. And truthfully, even though it's also really expensive, I prefer the Origins High Potency Nitamins for a night cream over this for sure. And it's a great deal cheaper. So I don't know, you have to figure out what works best for your skin. This for me was just okay. So this was another skincare product that I did wanna recommend because I've actually already repurchased this in its full size. This is the Youth to the People Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. And this has a very different consistency from that Lala Retro Whipped Cream that we were just talking about. This is definitely more gel-like. If you've ever used the Origins like orange gel moisturizer, very, very similar consistency. Although this one kind of has like a light green hue but it's so lightweight, but still very, very effective. So sometimes I use like a gel-based product and I'm like, that did not add enough moisture. That was just like a kiss of moisture. This, I don't feel that way at all. My skin feels very moisturized after using it, even though it is still a super lightweight formula. So this is one that I like to use during the daytime. I think it layers really well under makeup without being too heavy, without making your skin look like it's all greasy and shiny. So like I said, I already purchased the full size version of this and a little bit goes a long way. So Necessary Body Lotion. I raved and raved about this product in a prior video. Couldn't tell you what it is at this time. I wanna say it's a favorites video, maybe from like February, March, something like that. This body lotion truly is so good. Like I described it during the time that I was using it heavily, um, that it like repaired my skin overnight. It really transformed how dry my knuckles were in the winter months. And I feel like so often lotions just don't repair that quickly. But this one really did, and I love that this had great recyclable packaging. I really like just how simple the formula was. There's no fragrance or anything in it, and it was just a super effective lotion. And I feel like lotions are so expensive. Now this is one that I have not repurchased yet because I already have another lotion that I need to use up first. But as soon as I'm out of that, this is going directly in my cart. I wanna say that the full size of this is like $25. And I also really love that La Roche Posay one that made your skin look really dewy and healthy. That is technically like a drugstore lotion, but it still costs like $23. So I'm like, well, if I bought that one without blinking, why can't I treat myself and buy this one even though it's kind of a more like I don't know, higher end brand in my mind, even though they're really, they're not all that different. But. This was another product that I really liked from them. This is the body wash from Necessaire. And also really liked this top. Like you just spin it and it's closed and then you spin it again and it's open and it was just like a squeeze bottle and you squeeze the body wash out of it. And I liked this, it had a very spa-like kind of tea tree scent to it. And I felt like a little went a long way with this body wash. It wasn't one that did a poor job of lathering, so you felt like you had to use just a ton of it on your wash rag or your loofah or whatever, no. I thought that it truly worked really well with just a little bit of product. So this tiny little, well it's not even that tiny, it's 3.4 fluid ounces, so this kind of like travel size bottle ended up lasting me a month-ish plus, I think. I don't know if I would repurchase this. I mean, I really love the ingredients. I really love, again, the recyclable packaging. And if I'm gonna buy the lotion, like maybe it would make sense for me to go ahead and throw this in. But I love the Method Body Wash so much. And it's like ugh, one fifth of the price of this that I'm kind of like, well, I might as well just stick with the Method. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling when I go to order the lotion, but if you were curious about this, I do recommend this product. I'm just waffling a little bit with the price tag for body. Wash. Next up, another Paula's Choice product, and this is the Essential Glow Moisturizer. So if you think about the ever popular glow screen from Supergoop, this is kind of a competitor to that. Now I personally have never used the glow screen, but it is legitimately the same idea. 
a glow moisturizer with broad spectrum SPF 30. So it is a glowy sunscreen. The thing is I really, really like this and the amount of luminosity that it gives me specifically in the winter time. In the summertime, this can be a little bit much on me, which I think is surprising because if you remember the backlight priming filter from, um, not Laura Mercier, the brand that shut down that is escaping me, Becca. It's the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I loved that stuff and I thought that it made my skin look so healthy and so dewy year round. And I thought that this was gonna be kind of like a one-stop shop with the glow and the SPF and the moisturizer all in one. But it turns out this is just like a little bit too glowy on me for the summertime. But just an FYI for something that's coming in the future, I did purchase the Say, S-A-I-E, like that brand's um, super glowy gel something or other that's supposed to be kind of like that backlight priming filter. Fingers crossed it works just as well. We, we shall see. I don't have an opinion on that yet because it hasn't even come in the mail. So if you were looking for an alternative, you didn't want to buy the super goop one or maybe it didn't work for you for some reason, I don't know, maybe this is one that you should try. I again would love this, purchase it in the winter, but now that we're in the summer months, I think I'm just gonna rely on the, um, the other SPF that I love from her, Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense. It's a tinted moisturizer that dries down a little bit matte. It's what I'm wearing today. I don't have it on any foundation or anything like that, but I think that it does a really good job of like evening your skin tone while still being your SPF. I can't remember if I talked about this in my last empties video, but I know that I ran out of the conditioner since the last one. So these two things together are great. I talked about them in a favorites video because it truly is an effective dandruff shampoo that doesn't smell like chemically dandruff shampoo, if that makes sense. This definitely smells more like tropically. Yeah, just, ooh, it smells so good. I haven't smelled it in a while. It's very sweet, tropically, makes your hair smell so good, and it is incredibly moisturizing. So if you're spending a lot of time in the sun or the chlorine, and maybe your hair is gonna get a little dry this summer, and then you also struggle with a dry scalp, I can see this being a really good choice. I have since purchased the Dove version of their like dandruff shampoo, it's their scalp care, and it also smells great, and is also super duper moisturizing. Like I think my hair looks very healthy since I've been using it. Definitely would repurchase this again. It's very affordable. I wanna say that this is like, I don't know, $7.99 a bottle, $6.99 a bottle, but the Dove one was even less expensive than that. So I decided to give it a shot and so far so good. Two hair products while we're on hair things that are the same, but also very, very different. So I use these for the exact same purpose. This one is the Ava NYC Satin Dream Smoothing Leave-In Cream. Didn't love the smell of this. I thought that this smelled very like woodsy. I think I've also described in the past like it almost kind of reminds me of pepper, but that's a really bad description. This just smelled a little bit too woodsy for my liking. I definitely like those bright, fruity, fun hair scents. I don't know. But this one was very effective. So I loved that it had this pump style cream and you just rubbed it in your hands and then rubbed it on your hair. I think it is a very clean way to do it even though you have to rinse your hands because this one, when you spray it, which I love this little spray nozzle, it's very easy to control, it works really well, it doesn't get jammed or anything, but when you spray it, the mist is so fine and wide that it leaves this like really foamy, slippery substance on your bathroom floor. So it was always a hazard. And so I ended up just like flipping my hair over the bathtub and spraying this on my head like upside down so that I wouldn't have to clean the floor every single time. So this one is definitely a more oily consistency. And instead of this being like a leave-in conditioning cream, this is more of a detangling primer. Like I'm pretty sure that this has some like heat protectant in it because this is supposed to be a one priming mist that protects against heat damage, reduces blow dry time, all while detangling and softening your mane. So this one has a great, like that signature Amica scent that's very like fruity floral. It's a very hard scent to describe, but if you smelled any Amica products, it smells just like that. Really liked this. Again, this came with that full size dry shampoo and that blow dry brush that I got back in October. And this lasted me quite a while, but I could definitely see myself repurchasing this even though the application is annoying. Will not be repurchasing this because I couldn't get past the scent, which I know is shallow, but the product itself and the formula, very, very good. And I got asked recently, people were commenting on my hair and they're like, what do you use like when you use heat tools and stuff like that? The only thing that I ever use on my hair 
and I say only, but I'm about to name like five products. <laughs> I use shampoo and conditioner always. When I get out of the shower, I always spray some sort of like leave-in conditioner or heat protectant that has some sort of conditioning quality. So I never ever like blow dry my hair or use heat styling tools without some sort of additional moisture or heat protectant. And then sometimes I'll use dry shampoo and hairspray. That's pretty much it. I don't use anything else in my hair, but just condition it, take care of it. Don't heat style it too often. That's how I keep my hair healthy. And I also don't color my hair. So I'm not like putting extra stress on it from that. So I don't know, those are my tips. A few more body things before we move into some makeup that I'm out of. And one, the Old Spice Wilderness deodorant. Love this stuff, smells amazing. But at my Target where I typically get this and it costs like five bucks, they didn't have like just the deodorant version of this. They only had the antiperspirant. So I ended up having to buy a new scent this time around, which I don't like as much. This one just truly is like this wonderful manly lavender smell that's also feminine. I think that's a pretty good description. Like when I'm wearing this, I don't feel like I'm wearing Brian's deodorant. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I'm wearing my own deodorant that just smells like on the verge of cologne, but still lavender. So highly, highly recommend this one. I don't like to use antiperspirants, so that's why I avoided it at the store the last time. But if they have this in the deodorant style, the next time I'm at Target, this will be added to my cart. I love this stuff and it is so effective. You smell so good and fresh all day long. So good. And for the 700th time, I am out of my Pro Namel Gentle Whitening Toothpaste. I'm not gonna talk much about this because I think this is featured in every empties video, but if you struggle with sensitive teeth and have not found a solution, I promise you this toothpaste works. I took like a month off of using it because I had another like regular toothpaste tube on backup and I didn't wanna waste it and my teeth were so much more sensitive during that month that I took off than when I'm using this regularly. So I promise it works, and I love that it has a little extra gentle whitening in it. All this talking, man. Also, have y'all ever tried a Dutch Brothers? Because we tried it for the first time in Seattle. They have them everywhere and loved it. And they're really known for like their coffee with the soft top, which is like kind of a sweet cream that goes on top. I'm a black coffee drinker through and through. So I ended up ordering just like this tea cause we had just hiked in like Mount Rainier um, National Park. And so I got this, it's called the Double Rain Bro. I get mine in the medium and it's just tea and it is absolutely delicious. It's like a blend of coconut, strawberry and passion fruit or something like that. I don't know, I'd need to look it up. So then when we got home, I was like, gosh, I wish we had a Dutch Brothers cause I had never heard of it before then. And turns out we do have a Dutch Brothers and it's really not far from our house at all. So we picked it up today and it is so refreshing, so refreshing. And I feel like it's a little bit better for you than a lot of the like sugary Starbucks drinks. Moving into makeup and we have one of my favorite products that I've been using lately and it is the brow product from Merit. I think it's called like the 1980 brow. I have mine in the brown shade and it's just a very basic little like tinted brow gel. You just take it out of the tube and you just brush it right onto your brows. Now this one is like completely defunct, so it's probably doing nothing, but it's just such an easy way to brush through your brows and fluff them up and add just a little bit of color if you need to fill in your brows. You don't even really need a mirror. I feel like it goes on really nicely. This is pricey. I feel like Merit products just are a little bit more expensive, but they're also made with a lot better ingredients. So if that is something that is important to you, definitely check out this brand. I've worked with them several times and then have gone back and repurchased the products myself because they're great. In fact, I have another Merit product here and this is their Lengthening Mascara. I have mine in the shade Black is Black. Again, already repurchased this and have another one on backup. So very, very loyal to, the, to this mascara. It's actually what I have on my lashes today and it's nothing crazy. I feel like, honestly, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise does a little bit better job of actually adding the volume and the length but this does a good job adding the length. I would just say it's not the most like voluminous mascara, but it is such a great reliable mascara because it's a tubing one. So you never get the black smudges under your eyes even after you do a heavy workout. I could probably even wear this to the beach and like sweat a ton and it wouldn't really matter. And then even if you jumped in the pool and you kind of like got your eyes wet, 
all it does is come off in these little bitty pieces. So you wouldn't even have black streaks under your eyes. You could just kind of rub your eyes and all of the mascara would come off. It's just like a no fail, non embarrassing mascara. And as somebody who really struggles with transfer on my brow bone and under my eyes, this is so good. I tried two different ones from Ilia and both of them transferred on me so badly. I got to the point where I wouldn't even put it on my bottom lashes because that was just me cruising for a bruising. So I would just put them on the upper lashes and I would still at the end of the day have like this black shadow under my eyes. I don't get it. So when I find something that works for me, I'm really hesitant to like stray away from it. And this one has been working. Again, a little bit more pricey than the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, but it lasts me like twice as long as the L'Oreal Lash Paradise because that one dries out so quickly. So I don't know, it probably evens out in the end if you're buying like two $10 mascaras and one $24 mascara. I mean, I get it, $4 is a savings, but still, worth it to me, will continue to repurchase for sure. But lastly, one that took me absolute ages to go through, and it's the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. I had mine in the shade one, and as you can see here, I really worked this thing to the bone. I have a little bit on the edges here that I could probably try to get off with a brush, but it's really hard to actually like get in those corners, so I don't really know what to do. But this is the most beautiful, luminous all over pressed powder. And I specifically bought a pressed powder brush from EcoTools that I think makes all the difference for actual pressed powders. Like I don't think that all fluffy, like all over face brushes are created equal. I think that the super fluffy ones work really, really great for loose powders, but getting a little bit more dense of a brush for these pressed powders truly makes them come to life and work so much better. So this is one where I waffled back and forth between buying this one and then buying the Kosas like cloud set powder, which also had really great reviews ended up going with the Kosas one, and I have to say I do like it. I am wearing it all over my face today, and I think that it does a really good job of like making sure your face doesn't look crazy oily, but while also maintaining that like natural glow. Like it's just a, not a very heavy setting powder, if you will, and so I have been really liking it. I'm glad that I branched out, but this one seriously is so good. You can see when I use it like on my finger, do you see how like glowy and pretty that is? and that's just all over your face like you have like a real life filter. So who's to say? I may repurchase this in the future, we shall see, but after ages, we are through all of the empty products. I cannot believe that I waited till I had that many in one fail swoop, but if you can't get enough of empties, you need to watch some more. I have an entire playlist dedicated to these types of videos, and hopefully we have some more styles of video on the way. Things have been nuts and they are gonna continue to be really crazy. So thank you for sticking around. Thank you for still supporting my channel. And if you like this video, then like it. Stick around, subscribe, join the community, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.